We're observing the Festival of Lights with an international menu that will impress all your guests. Chef and cookbook author Susie Fishbein is here with some kosher dishes that'll feel like a trip around the world. Welcome. Thank you for Hi, being here. Yeah. It smells delicious. It does. Excellent. And you have so many different dishes here from all over the place. And we're starting right over here. So <laughs> Hanukkah is known as the, uh, the Festival of Lights, celebrating the miracle of the mm -hmm. oil. So I thought it would be fun to bring some oily dishes with an international <laughs> flair. We have some sweet potato wontons with an mm -hmm. Asian dipping mm -hmm. sauce. Right. Some Mexican chicken flautas with a gorgeous creamy avocado <laughs> sauce. That was me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, you might want to end your Hanukkah uh, celebration with some donuts. That's pretty traditional. Or you might want to make it the miracle mm -hmm. of not having to call a cardiologist and go a little bit <laughs> talking towards the Middle East. Um, oh, which, these which are beautiful. It's, just, it's, a, it's a half of an eggplant brushed with olive oil and roasted off and then decorated with some silan tahina and beautiful. That would be great at any kind of intercultural holiday celebration because of the red and green mm -hmm. and really, really just beautiful. This sm all smells delicious. What are you so, going to make here? Very traditional to any uh, Hanukkah celebration are latkes. Mm -hmm. But anyone who's ever made latkes know that it makes you um, really kind Kind of attached to your frying pan, and the oil gets mm -hmm. in your hair. My husband's always a gem, and he's the one that goes on lots of duty. <laughs> but I have a very special friend. Her name was Auntie Cohenson. She was a Holocaust survivor, 80 year old woman who came to live with my family for a short while. And as a thank you for hosting us, she used to make us this giant skillet potato kugel. And I thought this year I would free myself and my husband from the latke frying pan and make this one gorgeous giant latke and set it up like a latke bar, conversation piece. People can top it themselves. Mm -hmm. So how do you prepare this? Very, very simply. Ansi was old school. So she would use one of these safety graters. And if you ladies don't mm -hmm. mind starting to do the job. Sure. The nice thing about this is also instead of a five pound bag. So you do it like this? I've never yep. used one of these. Just okay. Keep going. And okay. Oh, this will take a while. If you are not old school, <laughs> a food processor works fine. I just recommend cutting the, the potatoes, the russet potatoes, really good amount of starch, mm -hmm. into chunks and cutting your onion into chunks. And right. food processing up, if you want it lacy, you can go with your lacy blade. If you want it smooth, you can go with the S blade. And um, processing it up with the onion, a little bit of potato with a little bit of onion, it'll keep your potatoes nice and bright. Okay. So you're going to continue doing that. <laughs> Until you've lost your knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to move this out of sight. There we go. Oh, okay. So okay. We've gotten ready for you. To that, we're going to add some eggs, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt, some matzo meal as binder, mm. okay. and some black pepper, 10 turns, quarter of a teaspoon. You're going to mix that up, if you don't mind doing yeah. your job, while you're heating up some oil. An oil that can have a high smoking point, that can take some heat. So canola oil would be a good choice. Um, grapeseed oil would be a fine choice. And mm -hmm. the flame is how high? You really want it on medium. Medium, and you okay. really want to get the oil, you know, ready to sizzle. Okay. So it's, so it's really hot before you even do anything? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and a, a cast iron skillet like this one is fabulous. Mm. Get that thing cranked up for like 10 minutes before you even add the oil. Get the oil hot. And then we can just transfer okay. this into our hot oil. That's what you want to hear, that mm. great sizzle. You want to smooth that out. A wooden spoon will do a great job with that. You see the oil is kind of bumping up around the sides. It smells so good. And you're going to let that cook for five minutes uncovered. You're then going to pop a lid on it and cook it like that for 30 minutes, unattended, without oh. the oil being, you know, with the odor all over your kitchen. 30 minutes goes by. You're going to loosen the latke. The trick, putting the plate like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> Give it a flip. You can do it on a plate. You can do it on a cutting board. Wow. Flips out beautifully. Oh wow, yeah. that looks so. And, and this is the this is the finished product. That baby's gonna go in here for another 30 minutes. You have your wedges cut. You set up your bar with all your toppings, your applesauce, oh. your hummus, your red cabbage, your salsa. You can do guacamole, different kinds of mustards. And as we, and you know, here, ladies, let's uh, give you some samples. Yes, thank you. Thank you. you. Try Real quick while you get the samples oh, out. Excellent. We're dealing with an area of mm -hmm. fog, and there's a fog advisory that's in effect for pockets of New Jersey, especially central and northern New Jersey. Temperatures today getting up to 58 with midday rain, much colder tomorrow. All right. Thanks, Thanks so much, Thank John. you, John. This, thank looks, you, Susan. this looks delicious. As I take a bite, Cindy, you take it away. Thank All you. right. We're going to be back tonight mm. at 11.30, and you can check out the delicious. headlines all day at home at cbsnewyork.com.